inevitably, when dahlias get posted through the system, they do get a little bit of damage because they get thrown around in the mail vans. It doesn't matter a job. The only important bit is the dahlia DNA. The tubers are actually only stored in March, and sometimes you can end up turning one plant into two or three from the damage if you know what to look for. So I'm going to cover a few examples today. The tuber here, and look, their little storage tubers have dropped off. But it doesn't matter because the DNA is in this bit. This is just starch, so this just feeds the tuber. But if you've got the eye, if you plant that, they'll very quickly grow new tubers. So don't worry if your tubers have dropped off or are broken, it doesn't matter. This bit is your important bit. This is your DNA. Wondering if you've got any little tubers, especially if they've got roots, it can really fool you that they're going to turn into something, but they don't have eyes. So none of these are any good because they don't have an eye. They're just storage tubers. But this one here, he does. Can you see? He's a good one. Pot him up and he'll turn into a great big plant by the end of the season. Magic. This tuber has dropped off, but he has an eye. So if you plant that, that will turn into a whole plant and a whole big tuber by the end of the season. You'll get flowers from it this year, I promise. So this is another good one. That's got eyes on it. And then some more that are no good at all. So can you see? There is no uh, top to this tuber. These are just the storage bits. Again, they're very confusing. If you plant it, it will get little white that come out the bottom but because there's no eye there's nowhere for it to sprout from so these ones plant and it's almost lucky because if this was all one clump and then we would have had the stalk as well that means you have one two three plants instead of just the one plant if you look at it that way look at it the positive way so these are all good tubers all different shapes and sizes but i thought it might be helpful for you to compare them to what you have and then you'll know that you can plant them and create some great plants and these are all rubbish put them in the bin or in the compost heap they won't turn into anything because they don't have a little eye attached to the top you can see the storage tuber is just broken away from the main stem but the eyes have remained on the a the main stem so it isn't a problem it just means they need to grow themselves a new storage tuber and i'll be teaching you how to look after your dahlias to get them to bulk up no end this summer here i've got one i prepared earlier so can you see the tuber had an eye and look at that really, really strong shoot. That's going to turn into a great big plant. And what it will do is once it gets growing over the course of the summer, it will start to put down new tubers. This can be so deceiving. Look at this tuber. It's like nothing's going on, but everything's going on inside. And it's just dying to wake up. I've got two dear little tubers I wanted to show you. So look at that, you can see it's got a lovely eye. It's really firm, so it's going to make a brilliant plant. And then this one, I said to Neil, I think that looks rude. <laughs> he said, it looks like a person with a burst appendix. <laughs> and turn it over, you see another shoot is there. So that is going to be another really brilliant, healthy looking plant. Is another one it looks like it's not going to turn to anything but then you turn it over and there is the shoot just there and turn this one around look at that i'm going to make sure i put this in a really little pot so you don't accidentally over water it they've got everything they need in this storage tuber to get started so that's why they're already shooting so i'm just going to pop them in a uh, nine centimeter pot I'll need to pot him on a bit later, probably sooner than you think. But that again is going to make a lovely plant. I'll put him in the pot right in the middle. 
gonna bury him at because he's too little to take any cuttings. He's probably only gonna have one, maybe two shoots. So I'll cover him over and I've been lazy. <laughs> I'm gonna stick this on the outside of the pot. There we go. He might be small, but he's mighty. I'm gonna put him on the shelf next to the flocks because that makes a lovely pot, flocks and seniors hope. I am absolutely thrilled to bits with this. This is Dahlia Seniors Hope and I've underplanted it with Phlox. I couldn't decide whether Cherry Caramel or uh, The Blushing Bride would look better. So I did a mix and I'm so glad I did because I think the different colours and textures are really working in this pot. So I'm going to try and get a really good image for it so that I can remind you later and then if you want to recreate this you'll be able to get the dahlias and the seeds from us in the spring. Pot is also just getting better and better. I can't tell you how many photos I've taken <laughs> one of one pot. Every time I come back, it seems to look better. 